ones I'm keeping for sure. Got the white stripe right there. Two different letters. Also, you see the black tri female with the white face, half a white face. You seen the male female I'm also keeping with a half a white face. You know, um, it's just how they how it came out, you know. And they just so happen to be the ones I like and the ones I'm gonna keep. You know, um quality. Great producer. Look at the size of him. So yeah, let's get a good look. Two months, three days. Y'all get a good understanding of what I'm saying. You know? Get a good look at what I'm talking about. You gotta know the dogs. Know what you're breeding. Know why you're breeding. It's a science and art. You know? You can't just go for the art. You can't just go for the science. You know? Um, you got to make sure your dog's healthy. I'm not going to breed my male to any and every female, you know? So you can't just come to me and be like, man, I got $10,000 to breed with your male. I see he's a good producer. If I don't like the female that you bring, I'm not going to breed with him, you know? And also, if I, I'm not sure how you treat your female, if she healthy. So we need to get that health check on her too. Or I could just give you the um a AI because I'm not gonna just stick my mail to something and then breed him to something on my yard and whatever um disease your female gave him, now he bring it to my yard. You know, I'm I'm not gonna do that, you know. So by me having healthy pups and good quality dogs, I'm not gonna ruin that just for a couple of dollars. Like a lot of breeders don't understand, you know, and they just be out here breeding to everything. I'm not trying to transmit no diseases to my dogs because it does happen. I'm not trying to um give my blood to any and everybody, you know. Um, I'm not trying to have kids with everybody out here. I'm not trying to give my dogs to any and everybody out here neither. You know, it's not about the money. It's about... Quality, better in the breed, better in the dogs, and everybody not for that. They might talk it. A lot of people talk down on the murals. And I understand, just like people talk down on the pit bulls, talk down on the bullies, it does happen, especially when a lot of people give it a bad rep. You know, um, a lot of people breed double murals and don't tell people that they bred their murals with a double mur you know, to another murrow. And that that's how the kids come out, you know, or a lot of people don't tell people nothing about the truth. You know, they'll tell they, everybody, hey, this is a pure breed dog when a dog came from around the street and bred with your dog. You know, just talk about the truth. You know, it's a big difference in these two dogs here. You know, but both of them showing quality. You see what I'm saying? And they both big. It just, this boy here is way bigger than this boy here. But y'all can tell, they gotta be, they gotta come out the same level. That's what I be saying. A lot of people, dogs, you can't tell that them dogs come out the same level. But they be talking about, oh, he a good producer just because he produced seven or eight pups at one time, you know, nine. I look for the quality of them dogs, like how them, do they come out looking like him, you know, things like that. You know, can you tell that those his pups? You can tell that even though they ain't his color, you can look at them other pups out there that's showing his colors and things like that and see like, okay, yeah, he, Comparing them with the, with him, you know, the ones I'm keeping, comparing them with the ones I'm keeping, 
off this little and that little, y'all can see. Yeah, he a great producer. You know, quality shows and the dog. I don't get no fucks about it, nigga. No, about it, nigga. But.